Christmas Greg here. Let's get right into our directions for the day. The first thing on your list is getting that attendance form done. So please make sure you are getting it done on time so I can mark you present. The next thing on your list is chapters 21 and 22 in To Kill a Mockingbird. Uh, so chapters 21 and 22, they go together. Uh, we learn the verdict and then how our characters are reacting to that verdict. Um, and then we also uh, have these very short chapters. So I decided to combine them together. I want to go over these questions really quick right before we uh, start working on our assignments. So let's take a look at our questions for chapter 21. The first set of questions all happened before the verdict. So our first one, why does Calpurnia come to the courthouse? So she comes to the courthouse uh, and gives a note to Atticus. What does that note say? What is she trying to inform Atticus of? Uh, why is she upset with Jem for taking Scout with him to the trial? So she has a conversation with uh, Jem about why he shouldn't have taken Scout to the trial. What is that conversation like? What is it about? Our next question, Why? Do, what does Jem think the verdict will be? Why? So he discusses this with uh, Reverend Sykes, so you'll find the answer about uh, the verdict, what he thinks the verdict will be when he's talking to Reverend Sykes. And uh, our last one before the verdict, why does Reverend Sykes disagree with Jem's opinion on the verdict? So he gives a very specific reason about why he disagrees. What is that reason? Our next questions are all about the verdict. Our first question, explain why a jury would never look at a defendant it has convicted. So take your best guess. Why do you think the jury wouldn't look at a defendant it's convicted? So it has found guilty. Our next question, why does Reverend Sykes tell Scout to stand up when her father passes? So uh, um, what? why do we stand up for people when they walk by us? Um, whether we do it in a church or um, in some kind of ceremony or something like that. Why do people stand up for other people? Um, our next one, what does this gesture suggest about the feelings of the African-American community towards Atticus Finch? So why does, um, what does this show about the African-American? I'm sorry. So, um, because the, the gesture is the African-American uh, people standing up in the balcony, what does that suggest? The fact that they're willing to stand up for Atticus, what does that suggest about how they feel about him? All right, our next set of questions are all from Chapter 22. Our first set come from when uh, Scout and Jem are at home. So our first question reads, When Aunt Alexandra criticizes Atticus for allowing the children to attend the trial, he responds by saying, this is their home sister. We've made it this way for them. They might as well learn to cope with it. In your own words, explain what Atticus means by this statement. So basically, why is he telling his sister, Scout and Jem need to learn to cope with their home? Our next question reads, uh, whenever the children are concerned or fearful, Atticus reassures them by saying, it's not time to worry yet. Analyze the statement, what makes it particularly effective and reassuring. So why are the children comforted by this statement? Why do they find comfort in the statement? It's not time to worry yet. And then our next question, um, how have the members of the African American community expressed their appreciation for Atticus? How does their gesture affect him? So they're going to wake up to uh, basically a big present to from the African American community. Uh, what is that present and how does that affect Atticus? All right, so our next set of questions are all from a conversation that is had with Miss Madi. So how does Miss Madi express her compassion and respect for the Finch family? So how does she show them respect and compassion in this uh, conversation she's going to have with them? Our next one is what is significant about the gesture of cutting Jem a slice from the big cake. So if we remember correctly in previous chapters, when she made cakes, she would make a small one for Jem, a small one for Scout, and a small one for Dill. And then all the adults um, got a piece of the big cake. So what is this gesture of um, cutting Jem a slice from the big cake mean for Jem and Miss Mari? Our next question reads, summarize the talk that Miss Maudie 
as with Jem and Scout about their father and the community of Macomb County. So I just want a quick summary, one or two sentences about what Miss Mahdi says about Atticus and what Miss Mahdi says about their community. And then finally, do you think Miss Mahdi's talk with the children was helpful? Why or why not? So do you think this um, is going to have any impact on Jem and Scout? All right, guys, if you have any questions, please let me know. You can always leave a comment on the forum. Um, shoot me an email or you have my text you have my number. You can always shoot me a text in the plan for closure document. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.